Yo, what's up DJs and virtual DJ lovers. Today, I'm bringing you a quick and easy tutorial that will level up your keyboard DJing skills. We are diving into how to map your level faders. Yes, volume control for each deck directly to your keyboard in virtual DJ. Whether you're mixing without a controller or just want extra control, this one is for you. Let's get right into it. First, launch virtual DJ and head straight to the settings by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of your screen. Next, go to the controllers tab on your left here and then head over to the advanced editor. Even if you are not using a controller, this is where we set up all keyboard mappings in Virtual DJ. So the second step now, we will choose which keys on your keyboard you want to control the volume or level faders for each deck. Okay, so here is where you will choose the key on the keyboard. So for me, I'm using an extended keyboard, which is an external keyboard, which gives me extra keys to work with. So I'll be using the number one up to number nine keys on the keyboard for you you can use any key you feel comfortable with on the keyboard so to set the mappings click inside the box for the key and choose the key on the keyboard and click in the action box so here what you will do is to type this deck one level space plus eight percent so what this mapping here will do is it will increase the level fader by 8%. Okay. For example, let me first save this and then I show you how it works. So if the level fader in deck A is at its lower point, what I will do is I will click the key I've set here to increase the level fader. You see, as I click it, it is increasing the level fader by 8%. It will not rush it up to up there but it will go step by step according to the value you have set it to. So here I've set it to 8%. You can set it to 10% or any other value that you feel will help you to transition or do things faster for the level faders in Virtual DJ here. So to bring it down, I'll use this other key, which is four. And then in the action box, I'll type in deck, one level minus eight percent okay so what this one here will do is it will reduce the volume or the level fader by eight percent same as the first one but this one will be lowering the volume or the level fader so let me click the key here and you will see the changes for the level fader on deck one okay so those are the first two keys that we need to set for the first deck. So we shall apply the same things for deck two. The next key is for deck two. I'll type in deck two level space plus eight percent. Okay, that is the first one. And then the second mapping. Let me erase this first. And then I'll type in deck two level minus eight percent okay so those are the first two mappings that you need to set for each deck here so the next mappings that we are going to set here for each deck will help you to either increase or reduce the level fader by a hundred percent or by zero percent which will bring it straight up to the zero percent very fast okay so choose the key on the keyboard please make sure you don't confuse these keys so that you'll be able to use them very fast and neatly okay so what i will do here is i'll use the same keys that i've used for the first mappings but this time i'll add the control command okay i'll put in control 7 and then in the action box i'll type in deck 1 level 100 percent okay when you save it this is how it will work assuming the level is at zero once you click on control one it will take back the level fader to 100 percent without having to add those step by step addition okay so the next mapping is this one here choose the keys on the keyboard like mine i'll choose control four and then in the action box i'll type in deck one level 
zero percent okay what this one here will do is it will reduce the level feather to zero point here after you pressing the key okay so this is what will happen when i press it it will take the level feather to zero percent as you can see it has gone to zero percent here and then when i press the first one i've set it will take it to a hundred percent so that is it for deck a so let us complete for deck b or deck two so i'll use the exact same keys that i've used for the first mappings i'll choose control eight and then in the action box i will type in deck two space level a hundred percent this will do the exact thing that i've shown you for deck one to the deck two okay and then the second one will be control five and then in the action box i'll type in deck two level zero percent okay it will reduce the level feather to zero percent after i click it so the next mapping that we shall set will help you to reduce the level feather to zero percent when you press it and then when you release the key it will take it back to the original point which is the hundred percent so this is how you can set it so choose the key on the keyboard and then in the action box type in deck one level zero percent while underscore rest and then you choose another key for deck two you add the same command in the action box here deck two space level space zero percent while underscore rest okay so let me save them and then let me show you how it works here so when i press the first one for deck one this is what will happen it will reduce the level feather to zero percent when i press the key and then after releasing the key it will go back to its default value which is 100 so for deck two it is the same as for deck one so this is what will happen have you seen that when i press the key it will reduce it to zero percent and then after releasing it it will go back to 100 percent after setting all those click on the save button here and then close this window now so let me load a track on each deck and then i show you how the keys we have set will work on each deck okay so on deck a this is the mappings we have set so first i want to show you for reducing and increasing the level feather by steps okay so let me show you how they actually work on each deck okay So that is after reducing everything so when i increase it so that is for increasing and reducing the level feather by eight percent okay so for deck two when i play it the same things will happen so the other two mappings that i've set is for it to take the level feather to add a hundred percent or to zero percent without having to go step by step okay so this is what i mean So for deck B, this is it. Okay, so moving forward, the third mapping that we have set for each deck is this one here, which will take down the level feather when we press the key. And then after releasing the key, it will go back to its default point. Okay, this is what I mean. Okay, that is for deck A. So let's go to deck B and then I show you how it works on the other deck.
And that is it fam, you have now mastered how to map level feathers to your keyboard in Virtual DJ. Until next time, keep spinning, keep learning and stay creative.